Hey guys, welcome back. So I had a cancellation this morning, so I thought it was a perfect time to do a favorites video. It's been a very long time. So I'm going to show you the stuff that I have absolutely been loving over the last like couple months or so. So I want to make this quick, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. The first thing I have is my Creativa. I've definitely shown this before, but it's still a favorite of mine. I want to say this goes for like $198. Uh, another thing I really love about it is I have a charger port right over here. I'm not going to show you, but I'm not going to move the camera because I don't want it to, um, it was, it was hard enough to get up there in the first place. Okay. So, uh, comes with a backup battery. So I just keep one on the charger, one in the clipper. When the one in the clipper dies, I switch them. So basically this never dies on me. Um, so I absolutely love, that's my favorite feature, honestly. And then I also love the shape of it. So highly recommend if you haven't tried out the wall creativa. Uh, the next thing I have, and actually I'm going to like be putting this away as I go because <laughs> I, I'm like, I didn't give myself as much time as I should have. Let me, let's raise you up. You can see more things. Hello, electric table. How you doing? Um, I'm wearing an OP triples, my favorite every month, every day, every year. <laughs> so next thing on the list, we have the Andis Pull CR2. Um, I absolutely love mine. I do see people having issues with this clipper. I do think some of it comes from people not oiling their stuff as much as they need to. I myself have been guilty about not oiling as much as I should. Uh, but if you don't know about how important oiling is for your equipment, go check out Summit Sharpening on Instagram. He has a ton of videos all about oiling and the importance and all that. And if you keep your stuff oiled, it should perform better for you. But um, I know they have had issues with their switch and stuff, so that may be different. But either way, so and this clipper as a whole, and just kind of a bonus one for this one, uh, I threw on the Artero 7 blade as well. I prefer it over the Andis 7 blade, which I have as well. These are my dirty blades. Like if I get a dog that's like matted or whatever, I use my Andis blades. Uh, and they are actually 3.2 millimeters, if you can see that. Whereas this one is a three millimeter. So I just find that this one is just a touch smoother for the finish. So if I'm doing a clean dog after the bath, I really prefer this blade, but these, I mean, they're fine. I just find for finish that this one is better. So just figured I'd mention it. So that's the next one is the clipper. Now the next thing on the list is this Dremel paw control. Actually, one of my closest clients gave me this. Uh, I'm not exactly sure where he got it. I'm gonna try to link everything down below, but um, just break it. <laughs> but either way, this thing is really good. Uh, it doesn't have the light like the uh, Dremel Micros do. I still have mine, but they're so loud. Like she's hanging in there. I use them if ever I forget to put this one on the charger or something, and they die. Like they'll get by but they are really on their last leg. But I really, that was my favorite. I love the shape of that one. It's just a tiny bit thinner. They hold it up again. It's got some hair caught in it. Don't judge me, okay? Sometimes you pick up hair, like when you're doing a dog and you're, like you've already trimmed the hair, sometimes you'll pick up the hair off the table. So anyway, <laughs> as you can see, they're very similar, but this one's a touch longer and maybe just a little skinnier. This one has a little bit more grip to it, which is nice, but I really liked the light on this one. Say, got a light. And then this one is just like a regular. But it, this is really good. Since they don't make this one anymore, this one is my new alternative for this one. If you haven't tried this one out, give it a try. Like I said, I'm going to try to find the link and link it down below so you can uh, go check it out if you're interested. Okay, so the next thing I have here are three of my favorite combs. Uh, these are all from different companies, but I just kind of link them all in one. The first one I have is this Bowie comb by uh, Colin Taylor. Where is my shoe? Okay, I accidentally locked them up front. Right. Come here, Hammer. Hammer, come on. I wanted to show you real quick how you can, come on Hammer, you can, uh, sorry, Hammer, come on baby, he is my blonde child, this was a mistake, there you go, after all that time on the camera, as soon as I saw the camera moved, I was like, this, this wasn't a good idea, 
Okay, I've almost moved all this stuff up. So let, let me show you real quick. This is Hammer, my Shizu. Um, and what I like about the Bowie Calm is like, if I can case it, he's, he's, I just got him. So he doesn't really, like he spent most, most of the beginning of his life in a crate, so he's still learning. So just bear with him. He did go boy, he just very confused. So anyway, armpits and stuff, can you see this? Like, you can like really get in the curve of that armpit and like around the head. It's good for top knots, all of that stuff. And I just love how it like shapes. And I also love like whatever kind of coating is on this is so nice. It goes through the hair so nicely. So um, yeah, I use this a lot. Sorry, let me put him back down. Stevie is getting so upset. She's like, give me my man. Give me Steve. Say hi. We'll say a quick hi to Steve through the YouTube. Say hi, Steve. You want to demo the next comb? We'll do that. Um, so anyway, David, I must say David Bowie. <laughs> the Bowie Comb by Colin Taylor. Check it out if you have not. They're kind of expensive, but I'd say they're worth it. I like them. But not everybody likes them, so that's my opinion. You may feel differently. Okay, so the next comb, this is actually another one I wanted to show you. I have the Jersey Pet Comb by uh, Olga. And this one is just like a super, super fine tooth comb. So a lot of times what I'll do is I'll get all the tangles and stuff curled, combed out with this. And then I'll go behind, she's so nosy, you see her? Um, but then I'll go behind with my Jersey Pet Comb and I will get out like any, like very small tangles or whatever. This will really get out every single tangle. It's so nice. Okay, so that is the Jersey Pet. This is the Pro. They also have the um, XL comb, and that one is has teeth that are a little bit spaced, a little bit further apart, but they're the same kind of type of teeth. And then the last one, I should have left Tamara up here because really a Shizu kind of comb, the Utsumi Half Moon comb. Now I haven't tried the Chris Christensen version, it may be like the same, but um, this is the Utsumi one, okay. So what I like it for is like between the eyes, like that, like if I'm combing up the donut mustache, I'll do like so, and then also going down in between this like ditch here, it's so nice, like it fits so perfectly. And then also when I'm fluffing, these little donut mustaches. This is just so nice and fine tooth. It like really pulls out every single hair and I'll just kind of like brush up and out with that. And it just like fluffs really nicely. And like I said, gets out like really every single tangle. So that's why I like these three combs. They're the ones that I reach for the most. Um, all right, thank you. Oh, well, but we'll keep you around for one more. One more thing, Hammy, thank you. <laughs> Thanks to Hammer, our uh, assistant today for the video. Stevie, you did great too, honey. Don't get jealous down there. Okay, so the next thing on my list are my Chris Christensen brushes. I think that my video on these may be like the most popular video I've ever made. Um, well, no, one of them's like about like iBookers or something, but either way, so these this is one of my more popular videos. It's about the Chris Christensen brushes. Um, but I absolutely love them, especially with dogs with like longer hair, like even kind of getting the hammer's length. I'm trying to grow this out. This is going to, you can kind of tell he's got a mullet going. Uh, but yeah, so the, for that, for tails, if you have any tangles, let's see if I can turn it up so you can see. But if you have any tangles in the tail or ears or anything like that, it just brushes it out so nicely without pulling too hard at their skin, you know? So I really love the Chris Christensen for brushing out tangles. And then once that gets all brushed out, then you can go behind with your combs, you know? And once you can run this one through, you know, you're good to go. So those, these tools, so these brushes and combs, to me, I have to have them for every haircut that I do. I use them pretty much on every dog. So, highly recommend if you've never tried the Chris Christensen brushes or the, like I said, any of these combs. They're really, really good. The combs really can make a huge difference in your groove. And they're definitely a bit cheaper than the shears. So, anyway, just a, just a thought. Okay, 
So speaking of shears, since we're already on that subject, let's go ahead and knock out my favorite shears of the moment. <laughs> These are the gem shears. I have the curved chunkers and curved thinners, and then their curved regular blade. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what you call that. Uh, but yeah, so I really like them because they're affordable. I think they were $95 each. They did send me this, the just regular straights for free to try. And then I like them so much that I ended up going and getting these too. Um, I absolutely, these, the chunkers and the thinners especially, I have started using a lot on like the donut muzzles and stuff. Especially like once you pretty much get the shape how you want it and you just need to like fine tune like make sure everything's like perfect. These thinners are so good. I've been loving them. So anyway, they're super affordable uh, and they're good quality. So I have really been loving these. So anyway, check them out if you haven't tried them before. I know they're coming out with a bunch of new stuff. I can't remember everything that they said, but uh, definitely check them out if you haven't. Okay, so before the last few things I have, I've got products and bows, so let's do bows and then we'll finish with products. So um, these are the tiny bows from Bardell, and they are just so perfect size. Um, let me find Stevie again. So Stevie is wearing one right now. Hers is kind of old. Her hair is wrapped in it. Don't judge her. Okay, we need to give her a new one. Um, but you can just see... Like, they're just such a nice size. Like, let me grab a regular size bow. Like, this one would look cute on, like, a doodle's ear. But you can see, like, for me, I mainly do small dogs. And that's so big and heavy on their ear. So I don't prefer to do these bigger ones on my little tiny dogs. So... I have really, sorry, that's me knocking my bows and stuff over, uh, but I've really been liking these tiny teddy bows. I actually have even more than that. I have these as well. <laughs> so they're my new favorites because I mainly do Stevie size dogs. My weight limit is 40 pounds. Stevie's 12 pounds, but like I would say she's about the average size of like a lot of the ones that I groomed. And I wish I could remember like what these were called, but I really like these colors. <laughs> then they have different colored like little pom-poms in the middle. They're super cute. So anyway, they're just small and I found that some of my clients that don't prefer bows, like the dogs will mess with them a, a bunch, have been doing better with these. Uh, so anyway, if you haven't tried this out, these are by Bardell Bows. So check them out if you haven't. All right, thank you. Great job, sweetie. All right, so last couple of things. This squalene shampoo, as I just mentioned, I and this is by Igram. As I just mentioned, I have been doing a lot of Shizus and smaller breed dogs. Anything drop coated Shizu, Havanese, any of that thing in that family, this stuff works so good on. It's like a really nice moisturizing shampoo. It's not. It's not too harsh on the hair. It doesn't dry them out too much. It smells like not, it's like kind of like clean scented. Like it's not overly strong like some of them. Like the banana shampoo is like very strong scented. So if you're sensitive to smells, that one wouldn't be as good. This one's a little bit more gentle. So it's a little bit better, I would say, for people that may be more sensitive or don't like strong smells. It smells clean without being like too overpowering. Um, but mainly I just like that. It leaves the hair feeling really nice and moisturized. So try this out if you have it for like your Shizu drop coated kind of things. So the last thing that I have here from Hydra, it's kind of like a loaded thing. So <laughs> the first thing I have is this uh, Bliss Moisturizing Serum. This stuff smells, okay, I'm gonna take you back. Okay. Let's go back to the days of Bath and Body Works, brown sugar and figs right? You remember? You remember how that smelled? It was pink? Yeah. Yep. So this smells just like it. Like brings you straight back to ripped jeans at Hollister in Abercrombie. Like I'm telling you, living, breathing, dying for this. I absolutely love it. I've been loving the other one that I have. This is the balloon, but this is like the color scheme. It's just like their original senses line. 
senses forever um and this one's more of an all natural like vitamin store is like what i've been calling it and that's what makes me think of it's like if you guys feel like a earthy kind of supply store how it has that like kind of all natural smell that's what that smells like so if you're into that then you'll love that i'm not into that i love it really perfuming so this so good this is the serum but i also really do like the cologne um and obviously the conditioner too and i love the whole line but i just wanted to showcase like the my like tops of the entire line you know what i'm saying so anyway if you only can buy one product i would say this and i love it on my D shed dogs like anything or even short coated dogs it just leaves them so soft and shiny so if you haven't tried this out make sure you give it a try because it's so good okay and the last thing is the conditioner and the invigorating booster so you actually mix these together and you get like this little bowl i should have had this out and i didn't so sorry i'm so unorganized this is um a little mixing bowl so what you do is you like squeeze this in your little diva cup i'm just kidding the mixing bowl and then you do a couple little drops in there and these are blue um actually I don't know. it's like this like kind of blue green kind of color so it turns your conditioner like this kind of greenish color and it smells just like that spray that i showed you and then you take it with your little this is like I don't know what material this is, but you can like clean it off. I, I don't know. It's almost like rubbery. I don't know. But either way, so you just like a little scientist, you mix it up, you make a little little chemistry experiment for them, and then you put it all over, and then I rinse this little thing out, clean it off while they're sitting in the conditioner, and yeah, it leaves them so freaking soft and shiny. And this conditioner is surprisingly not as heavy as like I would want to think it is like I don't know something that, like a lot of hydro conditioners are kind of heavy so you have to be careful the code types you use them on but like you could definitely use them on a breed type like Stevie and you might even be able to use it like every now and then on a breed type like Hammer like a Shizu or something but I would just use like a tiny bit um but yeah I have really enjoyed this stuff it's it's really First of all, smells amazing, and it's really, really conditioning. I just think it's really good stuff. So, anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. Uh, but I'll make another favorite video as I have more things that I try that I like. I like to kind of wait until I have, like, a good group of things to, like, be like, yes, this is things that I'm, like, dying for, you know? I don't want it to get too repetitive or to feel, like, too pressured to like find things I like so that's why there are some repeats in this um but I do want to keep saying my favorites because I know that's helpful like if you guys are looking to shop for new things or whatever I you know show you a few things that I really like that I would recommend you try if you're in the market for new grooming stuff so anyway I hope you enjoyed this video uh as always thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye